Hello friends, welcome to Sitza.com. Now in this video we will learn about the reaction of alcohols with uh, PCL3, PBR3 and also we will discuss about the reaction of alcohols with the thionyl chloride SOCl2. Okay, so when you react an alcohol molecule ROH with any of the you know, phosphorus trihalide, for example phosphorus tribromide PBr3 what happens here the hydroxide group will be replaced by the Br so this is basically a nucleophilic substitution reaction this is an acid reaction the Br negative replacing the OH from the alcohols and what do you get you get an alkyl halide okay here all the three uh, bromine atoms you know can be replaced and they can you know uh, react with the three alcohol molecules and you get three alkyl halides and what else you get the hydroxide will react with the phosphorus and it forms the H3PO3. Okay, so this is actually an acid reaction, a nucleophilic substitution reaction. The hydroxide group from the alcohol is replaced by the Br negative, right? So this is acid reaction. Now let's look at the mechanism. How does this particular reaction occur, right? So what happens here when you react the alcohol with the phosphorus tribromide, the alcohol molecule. Uh, attacks on the phosphorus here and what you get you get an intermediate like this at the same time one of the bromine is replaced here from as, as a Br negative here right so you get the Br negative okay so alcohol attacks on the phosphorus Br here you know this particular bond breaks and one of the uh, bromine atoms uh, replaces here is replaced here and you get this one as an intermediate okay now from this particular intermediate you can uh, you know replace this whole system HO PBR2 by the same nucleophile but the BR negative here right so you can see here the BR negative now it acts as a nucleophile this is basically the step number one right this is the step number one of the reaction and in the step number two what happens in step number second the same BR negative attacks on this particular carbon okay and then what you get you get alkyl halide and this whole system is lost here right as a group okay so what you get here you get like this the BR negative here acts as a nucleophile attacks on this particular carbon and then it replaces the HO PBR2 and what you get you get RCH2Br you get RCH2Br this is an alkyl halide this is what you look at plus what you get you get HO right and phosphorus with the two bromine atoms also right so there are two bromine atoms also still there with the phosphorus basically in these two reactions what happens here alcohol uh, alcohol molecule attacks on the phosphorus and one of the bromine is there replaced there as the BR negative and then the same BR negative attacks on this particular carbon in the step number two right okay in our last video I have told you that hydroxide group as such is a bad nucleophile you know it's not easy to replace the OH so that's why you know you convert it into the OH and the PBR2 now this group is a better living group HO PBR2 is a better living group right so because oxygen now also has a posture so you can break this spot easily that's why you know in the step second the bromine BR negative can easily replace this whole system here right from this uh, intermediate product okay and you get alkyl halide and this molecule now the reaction continues right the same reaction continues uh, you know the same way this particular molecule intermediate will react with other two alcohol molecules correct so you can say here there will be the two more alcohol molecules RCH2OH okay and they will react with one of this you know uh, intermediate here OH and phosphorus is attached with the you know two more bromine atoms the reaction will continue right it will continue twice and it will react with the two alcohol molecules finally all of the bromine atoms here will be replaced by the OH and what do you get you get three molecules of alcohol you know alkyl halide or CH2Br okay plus you get uh, the phosphorus with three hydroxide groups okay you get the phosphorus 
with the three hydroxide groups. So that means you get two more alkyl halides here, okay, and you get the pH. So in general, we can say three alcohol molecules react with one phosphorus tribromide, or similarly, it can react with one PCl3, and you get you know three alkyl halide molecules, right? Now let's look at the reaction of an alcohol with the thionyl chloride, with the SOCl2, right? With the SOCl2, thionyl chloride. Here, from the thionyl chloride, we replace the chlorine by the OH, okay? Alcohol molecule acts as a nucleophile and it attacks on the sulfur here. And what do you get? You get alkyl halide, SO2 and HCl. And now let's again look at the mechanism. How does this particular reaction occur here? Okay, see alcohol, when it reacts with the thionyl chloride, SOCl2, right? So here, this particular alcohol molecule attacks on the sulfur, and at the same time, one of the chlorine is lost as Cl negative here, and you get an intermediate like this, okay? When oxygen attacks on the sulfur, Cl negative is lost and finally hydrogen comes off from the OH as H plus and you get this intermediate. So this is the step number one. Okay, this is the step number one. And then, you know the same chloride ion will now act as a nucleophile and it will attack on the CH2 group. Right, it will attack on the CH2 group and then it will finally replace this molecule. So let's see what happens in the step number two. Okay, so in the step number two, the chloride ion now attacks on this particular carbon, CH2, and this one, you know, comes off, right? So it forms a sulfur dioxide, and you get RCH2Cl, right? You get the RCH2Cl, this carbon reacts with the, forms a bond with the chlorine, and you get a sulfur dioxide here also, and at the same time, the chlorine is lost as a Cl negative. Okay, so then, you know, this H plus sign here and the Cl negative ion, it can react and form HCl. Okay, form the HCl. So these are the three products that you get here. One is alkyl halide, sulfur dioxide, this is a gas here. Sulfur dioxide is a gas, HCl here also has a gas, right? And from industrial point of view, the reaction is considered to be the best one because you get the pure alkyl halide. The intermediates like sulfur dioxide and HCl, they can easily, you know, go into the gaseous state. Hope you got the concept. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.